So, that's our tent up. The next thing we need to look at is our sleeping system. And um, obviously, that's a major part of trying to keep warm. Because the last thing you need is to be shivering cold all night long. You need to get a good night's sleep. You need to be warm. Um, and to me, this is probably the most single, most important piece of kit is the sleeping bag and the sleeping mat. If you're going to spend your money anywhere, then buying some decent gear here is definitely the way forward. Um, I've had many a night in the past uh, where I've frozen all night long, shivered all night long, 20 minutes of sleep here, wake up, 20 minutes of sleep there. It's just no good for you. Um, so spend your money wisely, buy something that is good, is going to be warm. Um, I've always uh, worked on the thesis that you can undo the sleeping bag. If you're too hot, you can undo it, you can cool down. But if you've got everything on and your sleeping bag's all zipped up and you're freezing cold, there's nothing more you can do other than lie there waiting for the morning so that you can get up and, and get yourself warm. So definitely the sleeping mat and the sleeping bag, in my opinion, is definitely worth spending good money on. So I'm going to show you what I have and what works for me. I'm not saying this works for everybody. Um, it's through trial and error that I've got to this, this point, but I know that whatever night I go out in, uh, all year round, I know that I'm going to get a good night's sleep and I'm going to be warm. Um, so I'll show you how my setup works and then you can decide from there whether or not you want to go for something similar or whether you want to invest your money elsewhere. But I'm going to set it up inside because obviously the ground's wet here today and I don't want anything to get wet because keeping all your equipment dry is certainly what you need to be looking at doing. So I'm going to undo this and just move this around the side so hopefully we can see better what we've got. Right, first thing, I always keep all of my sleeping equipment in dry sacks. Even though they're inside my sleep, my uh, rucksack, which has got a dry sack inside it, I put it in its own dry sack because trying to keep it dry is, is important. So, what I've gone for, after trialing many, um, and I've certainly found this to be the best, I've probably had this oh, probably two or three years now, and uh, wouldn't go anywhere without it. I know they do slightly smaller ones um, for summer use, but I just tend to take, take this with me all year round because I know it works for me. And this is the Xbed 7, which is a um, sleeping mat with down inside. And that makes a massive difference to the warmth because a lot of your body heat goes out through the bottom of the tent into the cold ground. The cold ground just saps all of your heat out of you. So to get a good mat in between you and the ground is important. And you can see with this that it's got this reflective uh, barrier all around it and that helps to reflect uh, the cold down and your body heat up. And inside of this, inside of this uh, it's filled with down. So that enables us to be able to warm the air up between the feathers um, and that obviously helps us to keep warm day and night. So you've got two plugs here, one is an inflate and one is a deflate. Um, it also comes with a blow up bag. So there's no blowing of the moist air from your breath into it, which obviously is gonna um, not do any favors for the down. You only need to try and keep the air that's going in there dry. And believe it or not, this works fantastically well. It's just a case of clipping on the inflate tab, opening it up, plug clips on, simple as that. You fill the bag full of air and you literally squeeze the air out of the sack into the sleeping bag, into the sleeping mat. Same again. Normally, three or four of these is sufficient to get it to where you need to get to. So it's really easy. 
not out of breath by the time you finish it, that's for sure. You can see it's just starting to take shape now. Depending on whether you like it softer or harder, that's a personal choice. I like mine to be a little bit harder, so I'm just going to put a fraction more in. There. Put the plug back on. And that is it. That's your sleeping mat all done. So that's the UL7M. Uh, so it's just a standard length that covers the whole of my body. And that offers the reflective values and the down inside of that which gives fantastic warmth um, and like I say I wouldn't go anywhere without it so for me that's the first step Good. sleeping mat um, to protect you from the ground from your, all of your body heat going out through the ground that is the first part of the sleep system um, that works for me Okay, so now on to the sleeping bag itself. Again, I put this in a dry sack. Um, like I said before, with all of the, uh, the sleeping equipment, I like to keep it in its own bag because at the end of the day, being dry um, is certainly going to help you to, to stay warm at night. So that goes in its own dry sack. And inside of that, it comes in its own compression sack, which is also a dry sack. So I've doubled up on this really. And this is the Rab. Neutrino Endurance 600 um, which is again another down product um, which if you're going to be dry and you can keep it dry then down is, is certainly far warmer than a synthetic um, unfortunately with down it loses all of its insulating properties the minute it gets wet so if you get this wet then uh, it just does not work at all the synthetic is better so you've got to look at the environment that you're going to be sleeping in because if you are likely to get wet or be in a wet environment, um, then you're better with a synthetic. Personally, I try and keep everything dry because I prefer the down. I know it keeps me warmer. Um, so I'd rather go the extra measures of putting it into the, the, the uh, individual dry bags um, just to keep it dry, to keep, me, to keep me warm. This, with Endurance, what they did um, prior to this one, they didn't have the Perlex outer. So this has got a Perlex shell to the sleeping bag. Um, and what that is, is it's sort of moisture resistant. It's not waterproof by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it's moisture resistant. So if you get moisture building up inside of your tent or you're inside that environment, it is going to offer some protection, um, but it will not offer complete waterproofness. And this, they wrapped a number of sleeping bags. Um, all different weights so I've got the 300 the RAB 300 which is an orange in color um, and I tend to use that one um, you know really in the height of summer when I know it's going to be really warm then I'll put that one in because it, it weighs slightly less and it's slightly smaller not so bulky um, but really anything from sort of September through till April time the 600 that works fine for me um, it's got a good loft down it's got its head it's got the zip um, it's a mummy shaped bag so it is a little bit tight at the feet so um, you know, you've got to get used to that. But for me, this, this is the sleeping bag of choice. Not cheap, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think just sort of sub 300 pounds, something like that. Um, but like I say, the getting a good night's sleep, remaining warm through the night is paramount. Um, so this is what I say, if you're gonna spend your money, spend it on two good items with a sleeping mat and a sleeping bag, and that will certainly, um, you know, ensure that you get a good night's sleep and you stay warm because to me that, that's the most important thing. So that's the Xbed Air Mad. There's my first stage of my sleeping system. The Rav Neutrino Endurance 600 is the second part of my sleeping system. Um, and everything lofts up there really well and it really is nice and warm. So that only leaves us to come to the third part and that is what I wear to bed, which I shall show you now. So the third part of the sleep system, um, which is what I wear to bed. Again, in its own dry sack, just like to keep everything dry. Um, after you've been out on the hills, you might be soaking wet. There's nothing better 
and taking that wet clothes off knowing that you've got something nice and dry and warm to put on. So that's why I keep everything in its own, in its own dry sack. So very simple really, what I wear here. I have a merino wool long sleeved top. Now the merino wool is a very fine wool, comes from New Zealand and Australia I believe. Um, but great insulating properties. It keeps you very, very warm. It's very, very light. It's very, very thin. Um, it's really nice to sleep in um, because it's not all bulky and you know getting all knotted up and twisted up. It sort of hugs your skin quite nicely, keeps the warmth in, um, and it's really nice to sleep in. So that's a long sleeve top that I wear. Then I've got the, the long johns, which I wear on the bottom, again, Exactly the same properties, exactly the same company. I think this is made from a company called Sub Zero. Um, that's where I got that from, probably six or seven years ago now, and has really, really lasted well and worked well for me. Um, and then just finally, on my feet, a pair of merino wool socks. Again, just nice and light, nice and thin, nice and warm. Keep your feet warm. So wear all three of those items, which is really merino wool, inside of a down sleeping bag on a down sleeping mat and that's your three stages of your sleep system um, and that system has worked for me on many and many a night out on the mountain um, and it really it's a pleasure to get into bed and when you're tired and you've been walking all day long you've been walking uphill um, you just want to set yourself up you want to get yourself inside your sleeping bag um, and that system works well for me and I know that I sleep really well and I'm really warm um, which is the most important thing. So I hope this video has helped. If you've got any comments, um, you know, please send them over to me and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but from my rucksack and I, and from me, Alistair Down, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.